late. Yeah. Was, was there an attack? Yeah. We can begin the review at last. We'll uh, skip the more obvious questions. There isn't going to be a review. Sorry? No review. No interrogation. No questions you know I can't answer. No hoops, no jumps, and no interruptions. See, I've had a lot of people talking at me the last few days. Everyone just lining up to tell me how unimportant I am. And I finally figured out why. Power. I have it. They don't. This bothers them. Glory came to my home today. Buffy, are you... Just to talk. She told me I'm a bug, I'm a flea. She could squash me in a second. Only she didn't. She came into my home, and we talked. We had what in her warped brain probably passes for a civilized conversation. Why? Because she needs something from me. Because I have power over her. You guys didn't come all the way from England to determine whether or not I was good enough to be let back in. You came to beg me to let you back in. To give your jobs, your lives, some semblance of meaning. This is beyond influence. <clears throat> I'm fairly certain I said no interruptions. That was excellent. You're watchers. Without a slayer, you're pretty much just watching Masterpiece Theater. You can't stop Glory. You can't do anything with the information you have except maybe publish it in the Everyone Thinks We're Insano's home journal. So here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna tell me everything you know. Then you're gonna go away. You'll contact me if and when you have any further information about Glory. The magic shop will remain open. Mr. Giles will stay here as my official watcher, reinstated at full salary. Retroactive. To be paid retroactively from the month he was fired. I will continue my work with the help of my friends. I, I, I don't want the sword thrown at me, but, but civilians, we're talking about children. We're talking about Two very powerful witches and a thousand-year-old ex-demon. Willow's a demon? The boy? No power there. The boy's clocked more field time than all of you combined. He's part of the unit. That's why they speak. I've clocked field time. Now, you all may be very good at your jobs. The only way we're going to find out is if you work with me. You can all take your time thinking about that. But I want an answer right now from Quentin. Because I think he's understanding me. Uh, your terms are acceptable. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> See, no begging.